Hello, my name is Robert O'Brien. I'm from McMaster University in Ontario, Canada. And my name is Mark Williams and I'm from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. We'd like to talk to you today about our book, Global Political Economy, Evolution and Dynamics. We'd like to let you know why we wrote the book, the changes in the book over time, and finally, what we hope you get from the book. So to begin, we started writing the book in the late 1990s when we felt that there was a number of problems with textbooks that existed at the time. We felt that one of the key problems with existing textbooks is that they tended to be potted histories of the global economy since the end of World War II and lacked the conceptual basis to enable students to make their own analysis of what was taking place in the world economy. In addition to providing you with a broader historical context, we also wanted to write a book that was a little less US-centric, that paid attention to things that happened in other parts of the world, and we wanted to provide you with a wide range of theoretical perspectives for your theoretical toolkit. As you will notice, we are now in our fifth edition, and if you examine the first edition and the fifth edition, you will notice that there are significant changes. One of those changes is in the scope of the book. We've added chapters on security, on ideas, and on gender, but the book has changed in more ways than just in scope. The book's also much more visual, so we've added uh, graphs and boxes to help illustrate points. There's also a website where you're viewing this, which also has uh, multiple choice questions to test your knowledge, uh, exam questions, a glossary, useful links and uh, references. And the book's also been translated now into Greek, Turkish, and Chinese. So what are some of the things we wanted to students to take from our book, Mark? Well, we'd like the students to be able to use this book themselves to be able to understand and explain key contemporary debates and issues in the world economy. That's right. We wanted to provide you with some empirical information, but also uh, the conceptual tools that will allow you to make up your mind about important issues. We don't want to tell you what to think about these issues, but we're trying to provide you with some advice about how to think of the issues. And we hope that as you and as your instructors work your way through this book, that it will be an informative, but also an entertaining experience. Robert? Yeah, I mean, the world's an exciting place. There's really important issues for you to think about. Things like climate change, trade liberalization, gender relations. And our biggest hope is that this book helps you think about those in a systematic and original way. So thank you for listening. And uh, enjoy the book. Bye. Goodbye.